Hello everybody and welcome back to Master of Orion and today we are continuing with the second game for the Mechlars. And in the last video we were we were raising the hammer, as I said. I think I said that. And yeah, we were basically building up a lot of siege ships at the end. We already have a good amount of normal ships. We have we have a lot of them. A lot of uh, heavy ion cannons. But yeah, we were building these. I think each each one of these has five Omega-5. Oh, I don't know if that's Omega-5 or Omega-V. Omega bombs, I'll just call them that. They got five Omega bombs on each of these. And I think my first target is going to be the Bulrathi. So I might be able to just completely annihilate these, these worlds. Like completely. Because I don't think they have any planetary shields. But... Let's not forget to do that. And I got requested to rename a planet to Clover by Lucky Clover. And I forgot to do that last video. I don't I don't think I think I can only rename these. I yeah, I think you can only rename planets in a um when you colonize it. So next planet I colonize, I'll probably have to do that if I remember. We're, oh my god, we're already up to a thousand credits in the reserve. All right, every time we get up to about a thousand credits in reserve, we will just pump it all. Pump it all into Mechlon, more research, more seed ships. And yeah, so I think I want to wait to invade the Bulrathi before... I want to wait to invade them... Until they're not allied with anybody, which right now they're not, but I want a few more seed ships. Just to just to make sure I completely crush these guys. But they shouldn't they shouldn't have Yeah, they have they have like level two shields, I think. They might have a bit more force shield technology than this, but I should be able even if they do have a class five planetary shield, I should be able to win. And I think I, I really, really, really need that repulsor beam. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to exchange some like garbage techs with these guys. Um, like actually battle computer five. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the Alkari and the Cylons, they both have an inertial stabilizer. So if I take this, if I trade this from the humans, that's going to open up more potential things. Um... I could give them improved robotics controls four because I still have an advantage. I still have like quite an advantage. I'll give them the warp disruptor though, because that doesn't seem to. That that's only, that's only really really important if you're completely outclassed because then you can't retreat and can't move. But if you if you can like really fuck them up, then the warp disruptor is kind of just meh. But if I if I see repulsor beam from any of these guys, I'm gonna go fucking crazy and snap that shit. Um. So now I I don't think the Alkari have the repulsor beam. I'm not sure. We've been spying on all these guys for a very long time, but we still not might we still might not have all the technologies figured out that they have, or all their stuff. Um. Well, they, they, okay, these guys don't have the class planetary class ten planetary shield. But yeah, ah, uh, fuck. I mean, oh, shit. Maybe, maybe I could just try and steal it. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna lead to war. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think we'll we'll, we'll wipe out the Bulrathi first. And then see see where we stand with that. Because the I don't think these I have enough large ships that I think I can take on a lot of their tiny ships. I don't think they have that many ships. And I'm producing I'm producing like quite a few nemesis a turn at this point. Um Yeah, get the shield there. Get it. Oh. 
Oh, we still need a terraform. Okay, that's factories. We're gonna fin we'll finish the shield there. We just finished the shield. Oh, so we, we, okay, we finished class 10 relatively soon. So, yeah, the Cylons and everybody's probably not too far behind me. In terms of uh, that technology. But I did, I did catch up pretty good last video, and we're, yeah, we're still number one overall. I want to, I want to check out, the humans got a lot of ships moving around over there. Which, which is nothing new, but I, I just want to see. Yeah, look at this. They have tons and tons of ships. But they're all, yeah, they're all small. Like, one, one ship with one repulsor beam could render this all useless. Unless they have missiles on these, which is possible. I think these are, like, medium hold. So they might be able to fit one range 2 weapon on there, but still... They have they have a good chunk of these, but not nearly enough. 124. That's a bit more. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. That's a bit more. Four escorts. So they have they have a handful of huge ships, and then just tons of tiny ones. I need. Yeah. Okay. We. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm worried about the uh, the the huge hold chips I could probably handle with all my large ones, but all those tiny ones, I don't have any tachyon beams or streaming weapons, and I don't have any repulsor beams. So, yeah, it definitely destroying those stacks would take quite some time. Okay, we're done here. Halfway done. Almost done there. Oh, planetary shield done. So we should be able to take quite a hit with our planets now, because I don't know... I think... I'm, I'm not sure what bomb levels... Uh, the Cylons have Omega bombs, so... They, they still theoretically could be able to overpower my bait, my shields, but it's still like take away 10 damage. Or probably right now, probably more like 15 because I think I have uh, class 5 shields. Deflector shields. Okay. And we are, we are currently, we are researching tachyon beams right now, so I think those are the highest streaming weapons. In the game, there's graviton beams and tachyon beams. I went, I went through every every weapons tech, every tech in the game, and the graviton and tachyon beams were the only ones that said they have a streaming effect. So, yeah. And my God, look at that. Oh, oh shit! No, don't go to the next world. Shh, damn it. That, that was a rich one. Was that Yarrow? That might have been Yarrow. No, Yarrow isn't rich. Where the hell was that? Okay, that one's producing ships. Was it this one? It was this one. Holy shit. Oh. It's, uh, 40 max. But we still got some people to grow. Whoa, 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 what the fuck happened? Why did the, why the fuck did that go up so high? Whatever. We just developed like three more worlds, so we probably made up for that in tech and then some. Okay, yeah, they're, they're still ahead of me. Every I'm still fourth in fleet strength, but my little barge is getting stronger and stronger, and I think what happened when when these guys had gigantic cuts, I think they just they disbanded one of their fleet one of their ship designs. So like all those ships just like disappeared, but then they built they built up like tons of ships really really quick, probably because probably because they're just focusing on small ships. 
So they were able to pump out a lot really quick. All right. Um... I mean, I don't know if the AI knows how to fight itself or anything, but they kind of suck. Impulse drives, ion drives, six parsecs a turn. Oh, I think I think um, I got a comment about going for going for range going for range four when range five was available. Which at the time I did that, I think I I thought I was doing it correctly, but I think I wasn't because each each tech. Each technology has a uh, has a level tied to it. Like for example, the uh, the um, the class ten planetary shield is level twenty two for force fields. So yeah, and I think as soon as you research that, you go up to level twenty two in this. I think. Whoa. And then, uh, so basic, and, but I thought, I thought that each, each thing you finish, each research you finish just adds one to this. But if you were like, if I was at like level 20 for weapons, but then I research a level 23 tech, I go straight up to 23, not 22. So I think I thought each, I thought each field, each time you research something, it just adds one to these fields. So that's why I sometimes go for the cheapest one because I just want to add as many levels here as possible. To get all the benefits like miniaturization and all that shit but i think it's literally just the technology you research it's just tied to each level i think that's how it works so yeah that's why that's why i probably went for four that was that was in part one of this um which is a while ago but i think that's why i went for the range four rather than the range five because i thought because it was cheaper and i thought i would get one level a little bit quicker than another level but if I had researched five, I think I would get like several levels because that's several levels above four in the tech tree, I think. Okay. I think we'll go pretty soon. We've been pumping out a lot of ships. And the Bullrathi, they're not, they're not going to be able to do a fucking thing. I think everybody's still at war with the Mershan as well. Um, yeah, no alliances with the Bulrathi. They're still at war with uh, Bulrathi. Humans and all those people. Yeah, there's still... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Mishan. They, or, I don't know why everyone hates them, but... Yeah, okay, let's... Merge. Merge and attack fleet. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, the game is fucking dying. Merge an attack fleet over here. Leave those four tornadoes for whatever reason. But I don't want to get cocky. Let's bring... Let's bring a good amount of stuff. And let's just bring all the nemesis. Yeah, every nemesis I can muster from this entire north area or whatever it is. The, the area nearest to the Bulrathi. Every every nemesis I can muster will move everything here. And then we will... I guess we'll just go here. Blast that world off the... Out of existence. Go down. And then go down. Uh, the Bulrathi, they seem to have a tiny fleet. A pathetic fleet. Like, 8-8. Eight, eight, 1. I, I can crush these guys without thinking twice. The only thing I'm worried about is all the other guys getting all pissy. Which actually, I mean, yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Blurathi aren't gonna be happy, but they're not gonna be along for much... They're not gonna be around much longer to be unhappy, so... Uh, exchange technology... Interest you... Oh, I can, I can still get this. I can still get that five. Um... I improve terraforming 40 and I can give them, I can give them, I'm not giving you impulse drives, fuck that, and warp disruptor, oh, fuck. Ah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to help them at all. And besides, they're Cylons, they don't need any help for tech. Um, uh, Alkari, what do you guys got? 
I can't see what they have. I know they don't have. They didn't have an initial inert stabilizer. No, they were offering an inert stabilizers. So there's gonna be at least one new tech, and if they have repulsor beams, then that'd be nice. Wait, what? I don't have improved terraforming thirty. What the fuck do I have? Okay, I'm not interested. What? I don't have thirty or forty. What the fuck? Oh, did I go all the way up to fifty or something? I must have gone all the way up to fifty and like almost almost baited myself <laughs> by the Cylons. Um, planetology. Oh, I oh my god! I only have twenty. What the fuck? Okay. Well, we're getting an advanced soil enrichment. Um, holy fuck! We can go. Oh shit! We we didn't get the we didn't get the first one though. But we can get we can get every normal planet to Gaia's. Which is pretty hardcore, but all the hostile ones are going to stay hostile. I think we just needed... I think we need soil enrichment or... No, atmospheric terraforming. That's what we need. And we just come... Oh, okay, here we go. We just skipped the other one, the first soil enrichment. Uh, battle computer, seven. Improved robotics controls, five, right? Yeah. That's what that was. Uh, what do you want? Holy moly! 425! Jesus Christ! Well, we were at 90 for like the whole game so far. Holy fuck, these guys. Planetary shield done there. And we're up to 1,000 credits again. Um... Uh, uh, yeah, look, check this. Amiable, okay, 425 billion credits a year, and yeah, this is what I, 314, okay, I'll be back quick. Okay, uh, let's go back to Mechlon. Back to Mechlon. Put all those thousand, or thousand, or what, what would that be? trillion that'd be one trillion credits put one trillion credits into that Ew. oh yeah factories yeah we have to rebuild all those factories now okay um ah shit we'll probably wait we'll probably wait until all the factories are done before we invade just to make sure everything's stable just in case i need to really do some crazy shit quick and, oh my, we finished that really fast. Uh, that's rich. Oh my god. Oh, that, that's because of the, uh, the massive influx of credits I just did. Okay. Uh, yeah, everything, if it's rich, everything in there. Everything into ships, I mean. Uh, oh, Jesus, our, yeah, the rich worlds are going, we can put two out from there. Yeah, I think I think I've reached that critical mass where I'm just I've gotten so many good techs for an industry. I don't even need to worry about huge hold chips because I can put I can pump out large ones so fast. I, I get we only have ion cannons on these, but I mean if we want to take out the Mashan and uh, Bulrathi, I mean we're still pretty far ahead in tech. I think we're we're second. We have to be second now. But everybody else probably has fusion beams, because I got that a while ago. I just, I don't have enough space on my ships for that. But all the, all the, uh, all the rich worlds pumped those uh, factories out in one fucking turn. And we're probably, yeah, all these guys are going to finish their stuff now. Ooh, um... What's it going to take to get to one? Uh, yeah, we'll leave it about 500 research. Um, Yarrow, leave it that. Leave that. Leave that. That one, that one I might, yeah, I might, um, I might build ships there as well. I think we'll go down to... 
Yeah, about about five hundred research points for everything. Yeah, this one too. But wait, that's only a hundred. Um. Fuck it. Nah, fuck it. Yeah, I got plenty of research points. I should be fine. Okay, that uh, that radiated world. Draca, Draca. Yeah, this one. Okay, we can we can get. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy fuck, we're up to eighteen hundred. Oh, probably from. Okay, that that's probably from all the. Oh, we still have those. That's interesting. Um. Oh shit, we can get rid of like a couple of these, yeah. Uh, fuck, what was I gonna say? Um, all that, all that reserve industry is probably from the factories that just cranked out. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, well, I guess we'll pump that all back into Mechalon. Holy shit. That's almost two billion credits. Two trillion. Okay. Well, I think that's I think that's most of the planets uh, finished with the factories. That was a quick um, refit. Let's see how much five nemesis nemesi. Oh, oh, this place. Okay, we need to terraform that. <laughs> terraform that up to I think thirty. That go up to you guys. Put stuff into the reserve. To reserve. Holy shit, even even the poor planet's finished like three turns. Okay. Alright. Uh looks like the Bulrathi. They got a decent fleet there at Barrel, Beryl. Eight eight. Yeah, I mean, this is pathetic. 29, 9 Devastators. All right, let's save right here. And we'll go, we'll, I'll just wipe these guys out and colonize their planets. Holy shit. Oh, I just, okay, whoops. I forgot to move. Forgot to give the order. Who the fuck is building tornadoes? What the fuck? Dr oh, I misclicked, damn it. I misclicked on these fucking guys. Ah, one every two turns, whatever. The tornado aren't the tornadoes aren't that um inferior to the nemesis. Anyway. They still got two fusion uh I mean um uh, what are they called? They still got two ion heavy ion cannons. No, four heavy ion cannons on them. But no missiles, no bombs, but I, I do have the uh, dedicated seed ships here. Oh, well, should I? I think I should switch. Well, we, we're only going to need, like, three colony ships. I think, yeah, I'll switch over to... The, ah, fuck. I'll switch over to the Ajax quick. Pump out three of those so we can just, like, quickly take all these colonies. I, I'm i pretty sure we're not going to be able to, like, accidentally, like, save these. As soon as I decide to bombard it, it's going to destroy the entire fucking thing. I assume. Because that's, that's a lot of Omega-5 bombs. We got nine, we got nine Devastators there. So that's 45 45 Omega-5 bombs every turn with, like, pretty pathetic shields. That's not going to last. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I guess we'll see how the rest of the galaxy reacts, but I think at this point it's just kind of done. I don't think there's much they can do. Merculite missiles, two ion cannons. Shield, two. Yeah, they don't even have class 5 planetary shield. Okay.
<laughs> five damage and missiles aren't that good. Jesus Christ. I wonder how good my missiles are gonna do against these. 70. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, Tachyon Beam. Perfect timing. Okay. Oh my lord. Look at all this fucking shit. Particle Beam. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Fuck it. Go to Particle Beam. Go straight for Particle Beam. The Blarathia are gonna be pissed. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah, we, we just... Our, our Omega Bombs are too powerful. We can literally just one-tap the colonies. Sorry, Blarathia, man. It, it is what it is. I kind of feel bad, but also... I, I do remember that uh, thing in the beginning. All right, let's see how everybody reacted to that. They don't like it. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, we finally finished here. People do not like it when you just nuke colonies like that. Feud, neutral, neutral, amiable, amiable. Okay. So not nothing really happened. Um. I. I guess we'll just go into sabotage. I mean, this is gonna be over very quickly. Uh. Let's go down, go down to 500 points in there. So yeah, uh, clearly if my scatter pack missiles can fucking crush those colonies like that, then uh, my bombs can absolutely crush those colonies. And uh, f two bases here. Oh my god. Um Oh, this is pointless. I yeah, I just cleared that. Oh shit. Okay, we can we can just take that right away. Okay. They I don't think they have much left on there. Ooh, votes. The Borathi are going to be voting. Oh, the humans! Ugh, the fuck? Okay, they voted for me. They voted for the humans, obviously. 12, 21, 30. Oh, did we just lose? We just lost. No, we didn't. Oh my god, thank Christ. We, we were very, very close. We are unbelievably close. Holy fuck. We have to... I, I'm not gonna do that fucking math, but we have to be at least... At the very least one or two points off jesus christ we gotta act quickly if i don't want to start the final war we gotta act quick um they got four population left fuck it how much i don't know what the oh, okay we can yeah just go there just get there The fuck is this? Oh, they're, they're trying to get that. These little scummy fuckers. Okay, uh, get the tornadoes up here. We'll move them in with the colony ship. And hopefully we can do the same thing to Ursa. So no more bombing at Draconis. Fuck, that was, that was a close vote. Jesus, fuck, that had to be the closest vote ever. I want to see, I want to see exactly what that was. Holy shit, 48... Um, yeah, they were two votes off. They were two votes off from a victory. Literally two. That was actually, I'm surprised that was that easy to do. So yeah, um, but if I take these two Bulrathi votes, then, uh, do not bomb. Yeah, if I get the two Bulrathi votes, or at least take away their votes... By taking away their population, then shit should be pretty good. Oh, we got there in two turns. Perfect. Dear ally. Oh my god, we have the same exact technology. Jesus.
Oh, uh, okay. Are we? Oh, Bullrathy. Thirty-three. Oh, that's gonna make it easy for me. Okay. Okay, Ajax will be out next turn. Then we can use that to go take Ursa. And once we once we nuke Ursa, yeah, I think I'll just nuke Ursa straight up. So all these all these get eliminated. So we'll wait for those. We'll wait for those transports to get there, and then we'll do our thing. And the Mershon, they're voting for me, but they're only worth three votes. But yeah, they're still they're at war with everybody. So I, th I think the next target is going to be the humans. The, the only problem is they have so much stuff. I don't. They don't have a lot of stuff, but I'm worried about all those tiny ships. Oh, I, I need to design a ship with tachyon beams. And kind of switch over to that advanced soil enrichment. Well, now we're going to get even more powerful. Holy shit. Complete uh, terraforming 60. Oh, are we just discovering all these worlds? Yeah, we're going to discover all these. There you go. We got our last Ajax out. Now we're going to design... Well, now we got to convert everything to a fucking Gaia. Okay, um... Now it's the time for a tachyon beam ship. Impulse drives. Max that shit out. Make them move fast as fuck. Oh my god, we can only fit nine on there. Jesus. Combat speed three, we get three moves. Defense four. So we still get okay, two moves. Okay, yeah, let's get let gives whoa, whoa, blah, blah, blah. let's give ourselves <laughs> three moves. Christ. Uh yeah, get some scatter packs on there. Those will be help I think those are good at destroying small ships. I actually have no fucking clue. So eight tachyon beams. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Mechlon, switch from. I think. I think all these. I can just go through with one fleet, merge up all of my stuff. Uh, whatever they're called, all my devastators into one. I think I can just. I can just do that. And I am. Um, uh, well, fuck. Ah. Uh, We'll put we'll put a couple worlds. We'll put we'll put these two worlds. Um, yeah, these two on on Nexus because we need we need those tachyon beams to counter their tiny ships. We just st the fuck. Okay, we can we can nuke it as soon as. Did they already arrive? They already arrived. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of those. Head there. We can nuke that again, no problem. So yeah, our fusion beam, or heavy ion cannons just annihilate those bases. So that's really, really good. Alright, there we go. We got our first nexus out pretty quick. That's good. Uh, oh my god. We gotta, we gotta build a lot more factories now. Oh my god, yeah, holy shit, this is gonna... As if we weren't powerful enough already. Good lord. I don't, I don't, I haven't seen anybody with atmospheric terraforming yet. Oh, look at this, we went down to neutral. Oh, oh, peaceful. Oh, because we, we're probably buddy-buddy with them, because now, yeah. Uh, report. Yeah, every, everyone's still at war with them, that's just... They've been at war, like, the whole fucking game. Uh, cloning, uh, yeah, no. They have advanced soil enrichment, which I just got pretty recently. They do not have anything. And neither do they, okay. So, uh, the humans, I want to be my next target. Let's see what weapons. Um, hard beam, antimatter torpedoes, mass driver. Alright. Oh, they're allied with the Bullrathies, okay. 
Well, if they go to war with me, then I'll just continue sweeping through and see what the fuck happens. 30 colony transports. Huh. The Algari ain't gonna be happy about that if they take it. Uh, did anybody... Has anybody taken any Alkari worlds? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. So, one Alkari world fell so far. After, like, God knows how many turns of combat. Alright, let's continue. Let's wipe out the Bulrathi this video. We'll, we'll completely wipe them out. And colonize all three of those worlds, and then we'll uh, see what's going on. I'll probably end it there. Borathi transports, yeah. Um, Nexus Nemesis. Good. Oh, what? This is gonna get weird. We should be able to reach there first. Yeah, we should. I'll just completely nuke Ursa. Next turn, we'll be at Ursa. Bomb it. Did we. Oh, okay, the Alkari left. Build that colony. Nice little desert world. So, uh, yeah, we're going for terraforming 60 right now, so that's going to be even, even more crazy. Three Nexus, okay. This place, yeah, we'll use this place as a population base. And we'll hit Ursa next turn, completely obliterate it. See what's going on here. Oh my god, 2574. That's exactly what I was afraid of. I need a repulsor beam. As soon as as soon as we fucking go to war with humans, I'm going to fucking I'm going to max out spying and I'm going to get that fucking repulsor beam. And we need to have all of our nexus in the area. Um We need to have everybody in the fucking area. Cuz that's Right now, those Nexus are going to be the only things that can stop those tiny ships with relative ease. But I have so much production that we can pump out quite a few. And actually, since the human, we're going to be fighting the humans next, I think I'm better off... I'm better off switching to at least... Oh, we're, okay, we're producing um, them there as well. Okay, We're better off switching to Nexus... Overall, in general, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Okay, we'll hit Ursa. We should hit Ursa this turn. Yep, we got there. They're going to reach there this turn. We should crush them completely. Uh, are they even going to try? They are. Don't, don't be a fucking bitch. Get in there, you fucking pussy. <laughs> So we do good damage against these guys, but their shields are garbage. They have no shields. Well, that colony ship doesn't. I don't know about those other guys. Mechlars attack Bulrathi. Okay, what do we got here? This is the final battle. And we'll auto-do it. Oh, that actually... Ow! Oh! I'm gonna rebuild some Devastators. Jesus. So they got some good missiles there. And colony destroyed. All right. Bolarath, you're gone. I wonder how the galaxy is going to react to that shit. So we took... Okay. That's up to a... Oh, whoa. Okay, we finished the factories. Jesus. We could probably go down to... About 800... Good lord. Here, let's go down to about 600. Here, 600 as well. Good god. 
yeah, keep that on research. Uh, we have, what was the other one? Was the, uh, was it Mechlon? I think it was Mechlon that I didn't do anything with. Let's go down to, let's go down to 600 here as well. That's good enough. Okay. Now, uh, we just need the Ajax up there because we already got the fleet there. All right. And uh, get, the, get that up to a guy as soon as possible. We got a decent bit of production there already. Well, shit, at least we can see the human fleet. 38. Uh, well, it's only t it's only about 3,000 tiny ships. The rest isn't too scary. Those 327 frigates are a little bit much, but... Yeah. And actually, right now, we gotta focus on Devastators again. Since we just lost, like, all almost all of them in that uh, battle over Ursa. Actually get get those three there. That should bring us up to five, which is still pretty pretty dangerous. <laughs> Actually, against the humans, maybe not. And we finished all the factories here, but we're we still got like almost twenty or ten population to go. Twelve population there, so. Oh, good, good. We should be... We should get even more production. Okay. Um, that's good. Oh, Alkari transports. Okay, let's see the, uh, the Borath here gone from the game, so let's see this. Okay, look at that. Whoa, whoa, humans. Okay, at least, at least they're the, the, they're the biggest guys around. Okay, we just, we increased our lead. We took away two votes from the enemy. And increased our own votes. Not, not yet. We still have to max out those populations. But we did do, we did just get a bunch of Gaia worlds. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Ooh. They weren't very happy about that. Well, we still got trade deals, so... Tense, tense. Yeah, they're probably... They're freaking out right about now, aren't they? Um... Report. No alliance. No alliance. Okay. And then... <laughs> they're probably freaking out, too. But we'll leave the Mershan. We'll leave the Mershan. Uh, actually, we'll make sure the Mershan... We'll make sure that we're still buddy-buddy with these guys. We're not going to go for an alliance, because that's going to drag me into a fucking war with everybody. But let's just th let these guys know. Give them tachyon beams. Just let these guys know that we're not... Not trying to kill them because they're they've been hanging on for the entire time. They've been just distracting all the big guys for the entire game. So, but all these other people can go fuck themselves. The only problem is I need to, I need to merge up all my fleets into one gigantic fleet. Or I just need to take I need to take them down one at a time. Okay, rejects fuel cells, nine range, Christ. There we go, we got Ursa. Well, there we go, there go the Bulrathi. And yeah, the humans are next. They're they're my biggest threat in terms of fleet strength. They're very powerful, all that extra shit. I think they're second place now overall. 
Psycho. We, yeah, we just got to get more Nexus out. Because, yeah. Uh, how are we looking? Relax, Discord, tense, tense, okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to look, and, uh, okay, the silence is still second, but the humans are really close. But yeah, uh, fuck, I forgot again. Oh yeah, um, knocking out the Bolrathi gave me a little bit more back in terms of planetary resources, because I don't have to, I don't have to move a little sliver in to, uh, do that. Shit, I really, if I could, if I could snag the repulsor beam, that would be such a huge win, because I could, I could make their entire fleet just useless. Fuck it, I'll go for it. I'll fucking go for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll fucking go for it. Go for it. If I get the prompt, I'll go for uh, force field tech. Try and steal it. And yeah. I think we... Yeah, we only have... Jesus. Yeah, we really fucked that up. I didn't even use death spores. I don't know how it's up, up to 25 only. Okay, next turn. I think next turn this should be done. Oh, shit. I forgot to m fuck. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot to m make all the any of the planets named Clover or something. Fuck. Or name any of the planets Clover. Fuck. Well, oops. Forgot to do that again. Yeah. Sheesh. Um. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that was all a waste. Okay, hold on. Uh, Ursa. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're about to build up Ursa real quick. Yeah, good luck with that. Personal absorption shield, cloaking device. Yeah, we still. I think we just we just didn't get the uh, we just didn't get the opportunity to research repulsor beams. Yeah, it sucks, but we just didn't get it. Okay, working towards Gaia. Yeah, we we pumped in so much, so that's gonna be cooking for a while on there um yeah fuck it merge up all the nexus we can that's right now that's the best thing i got against tons of tiny ships and they move fast as hell but I don't, I don't think that's going to matter. I can get the fuck out of there real quick, but I, I don't know how much that's going to help. Oh, here we go. Titanium armor, hell yeah. Okay, I think... Well, we haven't gotten any restless, wary, troubled. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so relations plummet as soon as you genocide somebody, but they seems like they're slowly going back up. Well, yeah. Fuck, we lost a lot of we lost a lot of spies trying to get this any opportunity to steal from the humans. Um. Oh my God, we've we've <laughs> we've fucking eclipsed them in tech. Holy shit. Now it's just the Cylons. And with my production, I'll be over to I'll be able to eclipse them in tech too. Wait, weren't the humans above the uh, the Alkari in uh, planets? Oh, the Alkari are taking more planet. Oh, whoa! Are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I think 
the Alcari must have got some special, like, radiated or something and finally started getting these worlds. It looks like... Oh, it looks like the Mashan took something. I don't know. But our next target's the humans. They have, uh, I think, 12. And if I can wipe out these... If I can wipe out these six really quick, I think that's probably going to be their heartland. And then it's just these six, which are probably still going to be tough, but not as tough as those ones. Um, no ultra rich. Poor, poor, rich, 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 rich. I got, I got every, except this one, I got every rich world. Nobody's got Orion. I don't really care about that. Not really. I'm not going to throw away a chunk of ships to destroy the Guardian just to get that world. And then... Oh my god, the humans have two artifact worlds. Jesus Christ. I'm, I still completely eclipse, eclipse them in tech, though, so... Yeah. But, there we go. That was a, that was a good one. Um, next time, we'll probably... I am a little worried about going after the humans. Every time I've run into... Yeah, they're up to 3,200 ships now. 3,200 tiny little ships. I'm a little worried about that. I'm a little worried, but maybe now that the Bolrathi are gone, maybe I can try and ally one of these big guys. Maybe the Alkari, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll try and ally the, the Alkari. And then try and knock out the humans or something, or... Do something, try and turn these guys on each other, and then... By the time I by the time I knock out like one big guy, by the time all that's over, then I'll definitely be able to win the vote. But yeah, I, I think I think now I want to get an alliance with somebody. So I guess I'll just I mean, based off how quickly the planetary reserves are rebuilding themselves, I should be able to just tribute these people up the ass. So, yeah. And it it's not real it doesn't negatively affect me at all. I just I lose a bunch of planetary reserve, which doesn't really change all of the uh, all the production going on, so I'll try that out next. But it is not going to be the humans. The humans are my next target, so I'm either going to ally the Cylons or the Alkari. So yeah, uh, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So thank you for watching.